Hi there. So today I decided I'm going to, uh, because I need to wear makeup for um, some videos that I'm doing, I thought I'm going to do a get ready with me, uh, like a chatty get ready with me, as you probably saw in the um, in the title of the video. <laughs> um, I've never done one of these uh, because I actually want to do chat to you about my YouTube channel and um, a few things that I was feeling about the channel and that. So I'm going to uh, um, chat to you while I do my makeup, hopefully. <laughs> Being a woman, we're supposed to be able to multitask, so let's see how it goes. Because I know other other YouTubers, they struggle to do their makeup and talk at the same time. Plus, I am getting very hot. Um, one thing about my office is it's very hot. So, um, And also, we've got um, cloudy weather, but it's hot outside. So it's it feels very humid at the moment. So let's see how that goes. Um and, cause I, and I can't put my fan on because then you guys won't hear anything I have to say. So I've got my coffee and I've got all my makeup and I'm ready to go. I love being creative and trying new things in my journey through life. Writing best practices, tips and tricks. Sharing updates on my own writing and books with different tutorials sprinkled in between. I enjoy sharing my knowledge. There's music covers and original pieces written and composed by me. Handmade jewelry reveals, sewing videos, other crafts, poetry reading, book reviews, and many, many more. Come and join me on this journey and let's have fun together. So just in case you're wondering why I'm working doing this in my office, I don't actually have a dressing table or anywhere else that I can do my makeup that's got nice light. So this is um, the best that I can do. Um, besides sitting in my bedroom window, which is where I usually sit with my curtains open. Um, but at the moment we've got people working on the plot. So they keep walking past and I don't feel like sitting there doing my makeup talking to a camera while they're walking past <laughs> they might just think I've lost it <laughs> not that I care what they think but still I don't want to scare the people um, so first of all I will show you what I'm going to do um, if I remember <laughs> uh, what I'm going to use while I'm talking um, but I'm not going to link it because it's the usual stuff that I use except for this thing which is new um, which is also from Essence and I'm, I'm not sponsored by them even though I wouldn't mind being because I use a lot of their products but um, this is Essence Camouflage Healthy Glow Concealer in the color 20 or neutral neutral light neutral so that is new the rest of it is not <laughs> Oh wait, primer. Here is my primer. Okay. Alright, so first of all what I want to talk to you about is that, um, I don't know if you noticed, sorry I'm looking in the mirror that's here at the bottom, just in case you're wondering what I'm staring at. <laughs> um, I, when I started YouTube, <laughs> I used to feel very stupid talking to the camera. I still feel very st stupid talking to the camera. Um, but I sometimes forget that there are people sitting on the other side watching the videos. And those are the people that I'm talking to, which is you guys. <laughs> and I, um, I feel almost clinical in how I approach things and I'm so scared to do something wrong and I sound stupid and whatever. But the more videos I watch of other people, I realize that I need to stop feeling that way. Um, because people just want to see the real you, really. By the way, the real me is a, is like a coffee addict, so yeah. <laughs> I might even just make a new cup while we're busy doing this. But I just think that I'm going to change my channel a little bit in the fact that I'm going to be a little bit more relaxed with you guys and chat to you because there are people on the other side of the video, which I have to remember. Um, I'm using this, by the way, for the foundation. 
and I just have to keep reminding myself of that. I know some of them are my family. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> but I know some of them are not my family and might just be friends or whatever and this is where my friends get to see me. So I'm going to be myself so that they get to see the person that they know. Um, if you have any comments or any, um, um, what you call it, I don't know, lately my words don't want to work with me, advice, sorry, comment or advice that you'd like to tell me, um, I'm open to that always, I always like to learn new things, I always like to improve, um, I always think that it doesn't matter what you do, there's always room for improvement, I'm not one of those people that are closed off just because I might know something or um, be good at something that I don't want to hear from other people I'm definitely not that way I I believe that it doesn't matter what you do you can always learn something new and that if you're not gonna open yourself up to other people um, talking to you about things or trying to teach you something then you're never gonna grow ever <laughs> sorry my dogs are barking at the people that are busy working up and down so Unfortunately, you're going to hear that a lot in this video because I can't keep shouting at them. They're doing their jobs. <laughs> um, busy barking at people they don't know, so... Please excuse them. Oh, that was that thing. <laughs> uh, so yes, I'm just... That is my decision that I've now decided to do with my YouTube channel because I just feel like um, it's like I said it's been a very clinical thing I try and do everything perfectly um, it doesn't always work out that way and then I get I'm very hard on myself when it comes to that so that has now ended up being that I'm not actually enjoying the videos always and sometimes I'll be doing like a video and I'm supposed to be, um, I'm doing craft videos, which is something I love doing. I love doing crafts. And I forget that I'm doing the crafts because I want it to be perfect for the video. And then I actually end up not enjoying what I'm doing because I'm so busy trying to make it perfect for the video. And that I'm doing it for the video. That I forget that I'm actually doing it because I really love crafting. So, yeah. It's silly, I know, but that's how I am at the moment, And but it's, like I say, that's changing. Um, I'm going to be changing the way that I do that. I'm going to remember that I enjoy doing crafts, and <laughs> that's why I'm doing the videos, is because I enjoy doing crafts. And I'm not going to um, allow myself to... Um, what was that? Something just fell off my bronzer um which is the lid came off let me put it on to you so you can see um so i'm not going to do that to myself anymore because then what is the point of doing videos if you are not enjoying them so i'm going to be enjoying what i'm doing and i hope that you guys will bear with me because my goal for my YouTube channel is to get my first thousand subscribers this year. So if you are watching this and you're not a subscriber, please help me reach that goal and um, subscribe to my channel. I really will appreciate it because obviously then you will be helping me reach my goal. Um, and yeah, that means I might do my makeup a little bit more. <laughs> Because <laughs> apparently people want to see you with makeup on. And being a, um, a bohemian, you don't always like to wear makeup. You know, you don't always like the social norms. But for some of the videos, I will be wearing makeup, like some of the ones I'm doing today. But then you'll see other videos where it's mostly crafting or DIY. I probably will not do my makeup because I'll be getting very hot. Because... <laughs> South Africa is hot. Even in winter, it's hot. Especially Joburg. So, um, or Rustenburg is even worse. I, actually, I was born in Rustenburg and there it's like you, you're the closest to hell over there. 
<laughs> so, yeah. Um, did I tell you what I was using? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, the front um, blush. So, yes, that's one of the things that I wanted to tell you about. Also, um, a lot of people have said to me that, or that, or not have said to me that I've actually um, read up on like when you have how to make your YouTube channel successful, and they say that you need to choose a niche, you know. So I like, like I watch a lot of, um, <laughs> even though we don't have a Dollar Tree, I watch a lot of people that do DIYs with Dollar Tree stuff. Um, but it's because we have other shops here. I could try and find what they're using um to also do what they do but um <sighs> sorry out of breath i don't know i've been struggling to breathe lately um so anyway so with that dollar tree videos they have their niche you know so they do everything dollar tree um some of them vary every now and again by using something else um, Walmart or something like that but we obviously don't have any of those what we do have is like value and co and crazy plastics and crazy store and you know all of those places so I try and use things from there but I feel like I have regressed <laughs> with what I was saying oh yes so anyway um, I don't have a niche that I am doing because I have different you'll see like um because i put the stuff into different um categories um i save them onto different categories like it's not called categories it's called something else but i can't think of the word now but like you'll see osabelia jewelry is my jewelry category and then or my jewelry folder and then i've got my music folder my author folder and i used to have one for the tutor center but i don't do that anymore um and then i've just got like a non-folder because i with the, that's where i was putting the vlogs so i cannot have different channels for all the different things because it's just too much and then sometimes i don't have things for so I won't be able to do every Friday, you know, do a video because I won't be able to do that many videos in a week. Uh, so I just decided that um, my channel is going to be like me. A little bit of everything that I do, um, that I enjoy doing. Um, it's going to be just a whole mixture of different things. So if you like something, then you can watch it and like it. And if you don't like something, then you just don't watch it. <laughs> but... Um, I do appreciate the people that are yeah all the time. Um, I'm using idea the other way. Um, so I'm not going to change it. I know some people change and they have different channels. They've got one for vlogging and one for what they do and one for whatever else. But I do a lot of other things as well because I'm a freelancer and sorry, I'm getting hot. Whew. I'm a like I say I'm a freelancer and I do like graphic design social media marketing um, all of those things I'm also a blogger um, I make jewelry um, excuse me I'm a youtuber so it's a lot of different things that I'm doing so I can't just focus on videos for four different channels or three different channels I just can't do it so like I say this this channel is going to be like me very all over the place <laughs> I'm not all over the place I'm very organized but I mean there's gonna be a lot of different things happening on the channel so I hope that you are fine with that um, because um, it's just I feel like if I'm going to have too many channels, there's not going to be enough. Um, there's not going to be, I'm not going to give quality in what I'm doing because I'm going to be spread too thin and I don't want that to happen. I want my videos to be of good quality. Um, 
I want to enjoy what I'm doing and not kill myself trying to do it and sit up until all hours of the night wake up early in the morning it's just not working because I also have to be a mother I have to be a wife I, I spend time with God and also I'm looking after my grandfather at the moment as well which takes up quite a bit of my time so I just can't have different channels so I hope that you guys understand that and that you will stick around or stay and subscribe and be here with me in all my different different um, hats that I wear <laughs> so this is the um, the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using um, I'm not positive what I want to do yet because I don't want to do too much I'm wearing black and white so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put white on first which is you know this one over here and then I'll go from there because I'm not sure how strong this white is because you know sometimes you get a palette and you use the white and then it's like like not very white like this one is not very white <laughs> Uh, I also became a book, I've become a bookstagrammer and I do book reviews on my blog um, and that means lots of photographs for bookstagram and I must say I'm having the best time doing that trying to come up with photos because you know I love ph photography if you follow me on my blog or even yeah I think I think I put photos on yeah um, you'll know that I love taking photos um, you will see I did like a vlog, it's coming up, um, a vlog on my um, our Cape Town holiday. My husband and I went to Cape Town and we toured a little bit and I did a vlog and then I took lots of photos and I'm going to put some of the photos into the vlog because I didn't always get to, um, I didn't always get to, uh, to vlog certain things because they don't like in South Africa they're not altogether aware of what vlogging is so they don't really like you to record certain things but um, also walking around with a camera super embarrassing especially if you're not used to it so that's why I decided I'm just gonna add the photos into the vlog so you'll see I love taking photos Oh, by the way, I used that color there now. Um, I think I'm going to use this one over here. Anyway, so as I was saying about Bookstagram, you can go and check out my Instagram um, to see those photos and stuff. I do also put it on Facebook, so you can check out Facebook as well. Ooh, I can hear thunder. My favorite. <laughs> I love rain and I love rainy weather. Um, I don't like the Durban feeling at the moment because there's a reason I don't live in Durban. <laughs> And that is it. My hair would disown me um, with all that um, what you call it. It's very um, humid and you know curly hair and humidity. Not the best of friends. I'm going to put black eyeliner on. It is from Essence. Long lasting black eyeliner. It's called Black Fever. And then I usually take a little um, makeup sponge to like make it smoky almost. I just have to listen for my grandfather. If he makes noises, I have to go and check that he's okay. I must tell you, it's quite sad watching that, you know, 
someone that used to be so active and now they just sleep all day or, or hallucinate which he's been doing a lot there lately okay next is uh, mascara essence the false lashes max, max blah, blah. <laughs> essence, essence the false lashes mascara <laughs> I don't think anybody can talk while they're doing mascara. Okay, and then I'm going to be putting in the silver one. Um, C'est la vie, also essence. I'm going to put it in the corner. I'm going to try and put it here in my waterline. I want to see what it looks like. They said that if you put white in your waterline, it makes your eyes look bigger. Let's see. Hmm. It does. A little bit. I don't know. What do you think? So I just used the Avon Limistick Luxe Pearly Eyeliner um, over the other one. Usually I would put the black in my eye, in my waterline but I'm not going to do that today next is my um, highlighter also do do girl professional makeup I'm going to use this one like I always do as you can see it's all <laughs> busy finishing so anyway as I was saying if I can remember what I was saying um, I have too many things happening to be able to have different channels so I hope that you guys are okay with that and that you because I mean you're going to have something different all the time you're not going to always have the same thing um, I know like I watch Zoe Sug um, from the UK and she used to have the same she used to do it the same way on her channel so it is doable you don't have to have a niche um, obviously it will probably take me a bit longer to get where I want to be um, with not having a niche but it's okay because then at least I'm being true to myself and I believe God will make it successful if it should be okay and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of LA Girl Pro powder um, definition setting powder on not much though because this makes me very hot and I'm going to use my beauty sponge just to put it on I'm going to spray my fixer on which is the matte fixer spray the classic queen it's just that cheap make as a South African blah, blah. <laughs> as a South African I don't really get to buy um, palettes like um, Jaclyn Hill or Morphe or um, any of those palettes because if you have to get them yeah in South Africa they are some of them are over a thousand rand for a palette so that's just madness 
I'm going to do a red lip today. Feeling feisty. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying as well, lately, I because I, I prayed about it. Sorry for those um, that aren't Christians or anything, but um, I prayed about it and I asked the Lord to help me to get things done in my day and to make me more productive. Because sometimes it feels like my day has gone by and I have no idea what I did. <laughs> and even though I am ticking it off on my diary because I am very organized. That's why I created a planner. Um, because I like being organized. But um, it came to a point sometimes that I didn't know what I was doing. And I didn't always keep to my planner. And then I'd get frustrated with myself. Which... <laughs> I'm sure everyone knows how that feels. She's shaking the camera around. Sorry. Um, so anyway, so um, I prayed about it and I've asked. And lately it's been so awesome because I have been getting almost everything done on my list every day. And um, I'm so grateful to him for that because you know, it's, he's helped me to focus. Um, about the planner as well. Um you know when you when you are a, a creative and you think things up and people then come and they give you advice which you know it's fine because you always want advice from people because they you know you, they are the target audience you could say but then you listen to people that don't actually know anything about planners and they just feel like they sh they need to give you that advice and if you don't listen they take offense but now I had my planner a certain way and it's the way I wanted it and then I was told that no one will buy it because no one likes those pages and everything so I took a lot of stuff out of the planner and then I happened to be looking on Facebook on one of the planner pages and these people asked what's the best planner and some people gave these two different places I'm not going to mention the names but they gave two different places where these people sell planners and I went and I looked and I saw it was, and they were raving about the pages that were in because it was so helpful. And I went to go and look and it was pages that I had removed from my planner because people said that no one will want to buy it. Plus, my planner, I've tried to make it as cheap as possible. And obviously having less pages, I can sell it for 190 Rand for a planner. Whereas these people were playing, they were charging close to 500 Rand for a planner. Now, I always look at something and that, I think that's also the wrong way probably is I look at something about like how would would I spend that much on something like that and I won't like because you know that's just me I, I don't like spending a lot of money on something and especially if I can get it cheaper and especially if I can make it myself but um, I don't like to spend a lot of money on stuff and that I would just not spend that so I think to myself okay 190 rand is a, it's also quite a bit of money but I'm willing to spend that on something um, which means I don't make a lot of profit from what I'm doing is the, the planner and the notebooks the notebooks I make very little profit because it costs so much to print them but um, the planner I make a little bit more profit than the notebooks but not much and then I think to myself okay next year i'm not going to listen to the people that don't do planning <laughs> and i'm going to actually put in what i want to put in and then see how that goes um so if you've got any anything that you would want to be added to a planner that would be helpful to you let me know um if you can either put in the description block below or you can mail me my email address is in the description you can either message me in the comments below or you can get my email address in the description block below and you can email me um, if you've got any ideas. Uh, like I say, I'm always open to anything. So, yeah, you can let me know. But that's also what was happening with the planner. So it's, I've just decided, um, yes, I will listen to people to a certain point. But when I am going to also follow my own um, heart and my own creativity. Because otherwise I do myself an injustice by 
not listening to myself <laughs> and thinking that someone else knows better but sometimes I do know better um, and I need to learn that as well so let's do the lipstick because <laughs> um, I'm I feel like I'm waffling now so essence soft and precise lip pencil and what color is this my love the color is my love oh, sweet so it's like a ready color it's a new one, so I don't even know if they go on very nicely. Let's see. Who is that? It actually goes on quite nicely and not it is a bit hard but not hard that you can't put it on so I'm impressed okay and then the lipstick is lip butter from Miss Signature in the color Bloody Mary So, yeah, like I said, my face is done, and um, I think I'm done talking <laughs> for now. Let me just put my glasses on so I can see you. Um, yeah, sometimes I wonder why I even bother doing eye makeup, because when you wear glasses, you can't really see it behind the glasses, you know? But, um, let me just come closer. And you can see I must say the white it does make my eyes look quite a bit bigger because like this eye is a different shape to this eye and it's like you know lower it looks almost like it's more closed than the other one and it's actually helped it look a little bit bigger which is a good thing it's a good thing <laughs> so now I'm gonna let you go if you haven't already gone <laughs> <laughs> so, and if you haven't and you still yeah thank you very much for your support I really do appreciate it um, if you like the video if you can please give it a thumbs up and um, I I always like to see if people like the videos because it helps me to know um, if I should do more of it or if the, this is not what people like or you know so sorry this is making you bounce around um, then I know if you if you like something or not so if you like the video then I know okay um, I can do more of those uh, if you haven't subscribed already if you can please do so and click the subscription block below it shows support for my channel and helps me with all the YouTube -y things which I also really do appreciate as I said I'd like to reach at least a thousand followers or subscribers this year um, and I would really appreciate if you help me with that goal if you look in the description block below you will also find all of my social media including my blog which is where you'll find more content from me uh, also if you you'll also find my instagram and my facebook which is where you'll find the book, bookstagram stuff um, and if you go to www.patreon.com forward slash on dean lorenz it's also where you'll find more content from me and you can also it's the best place for you to support what i do on this channel and what i do on my blog because I don't get paid for what I do on my blog or on this channel at the moment and um, that's where you can help me out if you want to support me um, become one of my patreons um, it's you get things back it's not just you giving me money for free um, besides obviously the fact that you will be supporting me um, which I would be I can't even tell you how grateful I will be when um, that actually starts working <laughs> So I hope you have a lovely day further, keep your crystal on, your sparkle strong and enjoy your moments. Goodbye!